Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore whether polar bears can survive without Arctic ice. In a new study, scientists have identified an isolated subpopulation of polar bears in southeast Greenland that makes use of freshwater ice pouring into the ocean from the region's glaciers, suggesting this particular habitat is less susceptible than others to climate change. Their findings, described in the journal Science on Thursday, open up the tantalizing possibility that at least some pockets of the species might be able to survive further into this century when Arctic sea ice is expected to disappear completely during the summer months. Polar bears face an existential threat from the rapid decline of Arctic sea ice which they rely on as platforms to hunt seals. One of the big questions is where in the Arctic will polar bears be able to hang on, what we call persist. First author Kristin Laidra, a polar scientist at the University of Washington and Greenland Institute of Natural Resources, says, I think that bears in a place like this can teach us a lot about where those places might be, she adds. Laidra and colleagues first spent two years interviewing Inuit subsistence hunters who provided input and ecological knowledge, including harvest samples for analysis. They then began their fieldwork in a harsh region, long understudied because of its unpredictable weather, heavy snowfall, and jagged mountains. Each year, the team would spend one month in the springtime, staying in the nearest settlement, Kumit which is a two-hour helicopter ride from where the bears live. Fuel depots had to be staged along the route in advance down the coastline, creating a hopscotch-like commute to work. The team tagged the bears with satellite tracking devices and collected genetic samples by either capturing bears or firing biopsy darts into their rumps. Thought to number a few hundred individuals, they are the most genetically isolated population of polar bears anywhere on the planet, said co-author Beth Shapiro, a geneticist at the University of California, Santa Cruz, and investigator at the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, in a statement. We know that this population has been living separately from other polar bear populations for at least several hundred years. Unlike their cousins, the southeast Greenland polar bears were found to be homebodies, seldom straying far to hunt. Their isolation arises from the geography. They live in a complex landscape of fjords on the very edge of their range on the southern tip of Greenland, well below the Arctic Circle, with nowhere to go. To the west, there is an enormous set of mountains and the Greenland ice sheet. And to the east, the open water of the Denmark Strait to Iceland. They also have to contend with a rapid current that flows southward along the coast. We see that when they get caught in this current, they jump off the ice and they walk back home to their fjords, said Laidra. The team found that some of the tracked bears accidentally caught in this situation had to trek more than a hundred miles back home. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.